Wonder why some games run at 60 frames per second, while others are locked at 30, or stutter when the action gets crazy. It's because every game actually runs two rhythms. One rhythm calculates the world, the other paints it. The update loop runs at a fixed time step, say, 60 times per second. Each tick advances the world. Guests move, rides spin, money updates. Same step size every time. That keeps the simulation stable. The render loop draws as fast as your hardware allows. It doesn't change the world, it just shows it. When the part gets heavy and the CPU can't keep up, the update loop starts to fall behind. That's where delta time comes in, the time since the last frame. The game uses it to catch up, running multiple updates until the simulation is current, then rendering the latest picture. To stay smooth, it interpolates, drawing positions between the last and next states. So movement looks fluid even when the math lags. That's why 30 frames per second games still feel right, and why frame drops don't make the world explode.